morning guys and welcome back to another video. I'm starting my working day I guess a little bit earlier this morning. In fact, not really earlier, just more like I wouldn't usually do something like this at this time in the morning if that makes sense. I feel like I'm not, I'm definitely a morning person but I just don't think I'm as on my game in terms of like chatting about things at 8.30 in the morning but I've actually got a podcast interview this morning for a podcast called Empowered. Um, it's about like um, pow word, as in like a word, which is a female led podcast and they are having me on to talk about um, the challenges that women face in sport, specifically for me around injury. <laughs> quite a current topic at the moment and um, but they said they've been kind of following my youtube and like just general social media journey and just everything in regards to injury so that should be really good i'm just trying to make sure i kind of compress my like teary emotions at the moment because like last night i had a bit of a wobble about everything um and just try and be a little bit more like factual but i'm sure i'm gonna be absolutely fine and very like relevant week to have had this booked in for um so yeah just starting my day with a little iced coffee which i think i'm gonna actually have to like down because i guess i don't really want to be like clunking iced coffee around whilst i'm on the call but i'm hoping the first bit will be like a little bit of an intro thing anyway but yeah it should be good obviously i'll let you guys know when it's actually out because i'm assuming it's probably not going to be for a couple of weeks also funny i've changed my t-shirt to a, well a clean mutual differences t-shirt um, but i'm actually in my pajamas <laughs> on the bottom half of my body i feel like this is like lockdown vibes <laughs> adjusting these white trousers you might remember that i actually got these white trousers when i had just remember that i had covid when i ordered them because i was in that bedroom like pretty much isolating but they have been too big for me you can probably see at the back like how i've adjusted them i'll take them off and show you as well not very well i would have preferred to do it with my sewing machine but i just needed them to stay up basically the only thing is about these is they are slightly lower waisted and i just don't think low waisted things do anything for me i think i've got short legs and a longer torso i did want to try and wear them and i think they look really cute with this uh halter neck top which i've had actually since i was at uni so yeah might be a little outfit to wear back to manchester today i don't think i've actually said about my plans for next week but i'm actually going to manchester today to well to see my family but tomorrow specifically i have got some of my cousins coming over with my auntie and uncle who live in Switzerland. The last few times they have been over, I actually haven't been here. So I really wanted to make the effort to go up, just make sure I've seen them. And it's one of my cousin's 18th birthday. So that should be really nice. So we're gonna have a little party at my grandparents and I'm then flying to France again, I know. One of my friends has a holiday home there and we go with a big group, usually every year, but we haven't been for a couple of years because of COVID. I've decided I'm gonna fly with my friends that still live in Manchester from manchester airport so i can fly back into manchester airport and it's my best friend kate who you've met a few times on the channel it's her birthday and she is doing a master's at the moment in manchester so she's actually living back home so yeah i haven't flown from manchester airport for years and years now so yeah i'm really excited but i'm getting the train out today it's a long train and i'm just making sure i've packed things to do but basically just work to do but things i don't really need internet for because the internet on trains is just, I don't know why they even say you can connect to it because you basically can't even use it. So deja vu really, isn't it? This is my suitcase getting repacked for holiday. Just the liquid situation whilst traveling with hand luggage is so far from ideal. I feel like I've got so many things with me, but in my head, they're all essentials. But basically repacking exactly the same things. I wasn't gonna put you through another pack with me video just cause it's gonna be pretty much identical. Do you know what I forgot to take to uh, France last week with me though is my little denim bucket hat. I've actually got a lilac crochet one as well which I might take but I think that with three caps is probably a bit excessive so I might get rid of one of the caps and I'm going to take this denim jacket to wear in the evenings if it gets a little bit cooler. Right just to show you quickly this is what I've done so I literally just slit there and slit there 
and tied a little thing. What I wanted to do, it looks like quite a cute little silky bow there. I actually wanted to thread it the whole way around, which is what I would usually do, and just have two ties kind of, do you know what, does that make any sense? Do you know what I mean? Basically like carry this around the whole way. But there is a bit here where it's been stitched so that actually wouldn't work on these trousers. But yeah, kind of best of a bad situation. I will definitely go and get these altered uh, or do them myself at some point, just not for this trip. gin and tonic made by my dad perfect editing companion and we've ordered dominoes which i'm very excited for good morning guys i am in france i woke up with a little bit of a hangover this morning i'm not gonna lie i didn't really think that i was gonna pick up my camera this trip just because basically i'm on a holiday with a lot of my friends a lot of my friends from school it's a really fun group we've been going on holiday together for literally years now i'm just being totally honest there's absolutely no chance of me going out my vlogging camera in front of that group especially not with the boys but me and my friend imogen we have got our own little jeet as they say in this beautiful house which is one of my friends from home's holiday houses his parents bought it quite a long time ago now and they've basically been redoing it and it's honestly just absolutely stunning i promise to show you at least some of the outside of it but it means that because we've got our own like little outhouse i don't feel as awkward about filming so it's why i try and get a few little clips and maybe when we're kind of getting ready for days maybe a few little pool weather montages yeah definitely nothing too serious it's actually a bit overcast today and it was yesterday i'm hoping it will clear because i can see some blue skies but i do always find that france no matter what time of the year you're here it is a little bit more temperamental weather wise yesterday we played a lot of tennis not very good tennis for me because i'm not particularly mobile at the moment which we all know there's a lot of kind of standing still and hitting the ball and today like we do pretty much every day here it's just going to be super chilled lots of chats lots of rosé gins beers that kind of thing and it's just honestly it's super fun jay i wanted to show you because i traveled with it and i don't think i've shown it in a vlog yet well i've not had it for very long but my uni girls have got me i'm just going to do it up so you can see what it looks like properly my uni girls have got me a bag for my birthday i absolutely love it it's not the kind of thing i would ever think to buy myself but it's just very cute in summary and this is the bag so it's this kind of rattan bag with a brown leather strap it actually has my initials on in gold as well which i thought was such a lovely little touch but it's from at cezanne which is just you know really bougie for me it's literally the perfect perfect size for just traveling anywhere going on a little day out i've got a crossbody bag but it's quite small and this actually holds a hell of a lot of stuff considering it is just a little crossbody bag the bag also came with this little pouch which is so great for traveling for my charging cables and like spare money and airpods and things in that okay so obviously this is the girls room so excuse us a little bit messy but this is mine and imogen's bedrooms all of the rooms here have just got so much character they're obviously super old and they all have kind of the original walls and beams and things in just so cute and quirky oh i just love it it's just honestly happy place for me very happy place i think our whole friendship group just love love being here so much and then through here we have got a little bathroom again with the most beautiful wall look at how high that ceiling is and then there's actually another little bedroom in here with single beds and again just the gorgeous gorgeous wall but no one's actually staying in here this year and then this is the view out of our window what an absolute joke
Hey guys, so it's a couple of days later and I'm just getting ready for dinner. I wanted to show you, first of all, my outfit because I think a few videos ago, like the second packing the vlog that I've done this holiday, I put together this little outfit from two items of clothing that I've had for years and I'm finally wearing it. It's a bit of a struggle to find anywhere where you can see. There's literally nowhere to prop up my camera. But it's these little shorts that were from, I think, Oisho. And then this little top, which is a very, very similar colour. It was from Nobody's Child a long, long time ago. I'm just going to accessorise it with loads of gold jewellery. Honestly, every evening here is just very chill. So I'm not bothered about, like, getting a whole outfit together. I just bought one pair of shoes with me. Don't need anything else, really. But I did think that I could do a little bit of, like, a makeup. Thing with you to show you some of the products that I'm really loving because these have definitely changed since I went to Megan's wedding because we had the most amazing makeup artist called Helen there do our makeup and literally follow us around all day and like do little bits to our face and I feel like since then it's inspired me to kind of try a few sort of newer things even though it's quite natural and there aren't a lot of products I feel like I've just got really into like adding a little bit extra to my makeup routine I'm going to show you this first because I actually need it to prop the camera up a bit higher because I can't squid into this shot very easily Charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin glow bronzer it's basically just cream bronzer matte but a bit glowy and I use actually the Charlotte Tilbury brush as well which isn't the dedicated one for this product but I just think it's really nice and I literally just do a bit of this all over my face because I wear a lot of SPF and it doesn't always match my body. So yeah, a little bit of that for the base. I feel like I've been going at very Charlotte Tilbury recently because of having our makeup done by them at the wedding. They actually gave us two of the Beauty Light ones. So this is Glow Gasm and it's like a peachy shade. Peach Gasm is the shade. So all I've been doing is just dabbing a little bit of that on my cheeks and then a bit over my nose and then just using a brush to just go over it and not that you can see that well in this light because it's not the best it just adds such a nice little glow and it's actually a bit rosy i'm not usually a fan of blush or rosy things i'm very warm by the way so sorry if i do look a bit sweaty because i am a bit sweaty so when that is on i've been taking the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder in the shade two and just going over all of my slightly shiny areas so basically under my eyes i've realized as well i get really bad like neck creases when makeup sits in my neck if i use this i just don't get them at all which is really great then if i want a bit of extra bronze i've been using the fenty beauty caramel cutie number six shade which is just a matte bronzer just a little bit of extra you know especially because my body has got quite tanned on this trip and I just want it to match. The only other things I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna just show you them really quickly and not do them on the camera because my camera has literally got two minutes of footage left and he's going to change the memory card. I got sent this mascara from Freck in PR the other day and it's just the nicest thing ever if you want like a really natural lash, very me. Then I use Refi on my eyebrows and that is literally it. I'm gonna put this on really quickly, do my hair a bit and then I'll catch up with you in a sec. All right guys, this is my very low maintenance holiday get ready with me look. I know the light is just not the best in here, but I feel like you can see a little bit of highlight. Put on my lip balm and I'm ready to go. So yeah, all good to go and enjoy another evening. <laughs>